everybody, this is Angela of Bluegrass Down, and today I am putting some wood treatment on a couple beehive bodies. And the reason is because we need to get a couple more of these on the hives because the bees have been really busy and they've almost filled up each of the first beehive bodies on the hives. And we don't want them to feel overcrowded and leave. We don't want to swarm and leave. So just getting these treated so I can get them on there. Now this is different than what I did last time. Last time we used just a regular wood stain and wood protectant that you get at the store. Um, at the, at, you know, pretty much any regular hardware type store. This time what we got was an eco wood treatment. Um, I'm not attached to this brand at all, not making any money on this. This is just what I happened to pick up. And the reason I picked it up is because I was told at the bee place that I could put this on the hive today. And as soon as it's dry, I can attach it to the hive. So I don't have to wait for this to cure or anything before I um, add it to the beehive, which is great because I want to get this done and move on to the next project. Um, this, the color is going to be different this time though because it's, it's not going to be the pecan color that I used last time. Instead it's going to make it look like aged wood. This one I've already done and it's, it's already starting to kind of have a gray look to it. And apparently the longer it sits out in the weather and gets rained on and that type of thing, the grayer it'll, it'll look. But it's supposed to be eco-friendly, good for the environment, good for the bees. So we'll see. You know, that's the whole thing. We want to make sure the, the bees hive is a healthy hive. So we're going to try this and see how it goes. It come, goes on a little different than a normal stain. It's very watery. Um, you added uh, this package with some powder and I just added it to a gallon of water, shook it up, and put it on. So it's just, it's, it's watery. It's not thick at all. And so you just make sure you get all the crevices and all that. And then we'll let it dry and we'll see how it turns out. I'm kind of excited to get the next deep hive body on there. So after, after we put these on, the second, so we're going to have two hives. Both hives are going to end up with two deep hive bodies. And then after that, what, we're going to end up putting up a queen excluder on. And then that's when you start adding your honey supers. So I'm thinking we're going to end up getting some medium honey supers because they'll be easier to lift on and off. I'm um, easier for me anyway. I guess this would be considered a review, right? Because it's the first time using it. So far, what I like about it is that it's easy to mix up. Um, it's easy to apply. It's way more forgiving than putting stain on it. I mean, if it drips or whatever, it doesn't show as much. Your mistakes, I mean, a little bit, but not bad. And um, you, if, once it's dry, within one day, you can add it to your hive. So and it's supposed to be friendly for the environment. So based on that, right now, I'm giving a thumbs up. All right, so now I just gotta let it dry and then I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna put them on the, the hive today or not. Cause I'm not sure if I wanna open up the hive today. It's starting to cool down. And my understanding is you want to mess with the hive during the middle of the day when the bees are out and active versus when they're all in the hive. So I don't know, but I also want to get this done and move on to the next thing. So I'm not sure. If I do it later, I may end up using a veil just because if I'm opening up the hive all the way up and messing with them, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I didn't use one last time, but now I'm a little bit more educated, so I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking I might. <laughs> but um, anyway, all right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.